are saying that they are the target of a serial window smasher. KCRA 3's Richard Sharp is live at one of the buildings that had several windows broken out. Richard? Yeah, Lisa, you can see the window boarded up behind me. It was had one of these put right through the middle of the window, and it is one of four businesses in this building alone that was hit in the last two weeks. It is not the only building in East Sacramento that's been targeted. Here's the broken window, and here's the rock. Here's the rock that broke this window, and here's the rock that broke the window, threw the glass across an art gallery, and damaged a painting. Well, for any business, it's damaging, but for the people in the art business, it's very, you know, it's really, really bad. It's one of a kind object. Just a few blocks away, it's the same story. More rocks, more windows and doors shattered. Just when we get the bids through and get ready to have them repaired, they um, struck again. KCRA 3 found five businesses in East Sacramento whose windows were smashed. Smashed by who many say is the same person. For most of them, it's not the first time they've been hit in the same way. Large rocks. Well, it's extremely aggravating because I see this over and over again. David Lobenberg's studio was hit four years ago. The JJ Gallery was hit a few years ago, and the Salon Cuvée was hit too. It's been happened before about three and a half years ago. The Sacramento police tell KCRA 3 the rash of window smashings back then was one man, a transient who was arrested. These business owners believe that same person is back. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think it's going to happen again. Sacramento police confirmed to KCRA 3 they are investigating and have a person of interest they're focusing on for the recent vandalisms. But these business owners are hesitant to replace the glass until someone is arrested. That's what makes anything even more frustrating is you have someone who has nothing to lose, um, taking from people who have a lot to lose. Some of these businesses over the past couple of years have put thousands into their windows just replacing them, so they are worried. Now, the police are investigating the possibility that uh, or any connection between these recent rash of window smashings and the one that happened several years ago. Meanwhile, some of the businesses are considering adding more security cameras. In Sacramento, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News.